Do me a favor. People geeking. Go listen to push ups. Go listen to Taylor Made Freestyle. Then listen to Euphoria. Tell me which one is better. If your answer is Drake, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if your answer is Drake, you're delusional. You are. Oh, delusional. you already know what it is. It's your boy Laid Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, TikTok. You up the bat. Wow. It's your boy Laid Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Hey, speaking of elevate, I told you the merch is dropping soon and it is here. This shit is fire. It's fire, man. So all I'm saying is look, I'm running a promo code. So it'll be under the video. I'm also putting in the pinned comment. You can click on it. But if you use the promo code Elevate, you get 15% off. Now, I don't know how long I'm going to be running this promo for. Depending on how it goes, I might run it longer or I might shorten it. But for right now, use the promo code Elevate. You get 15% off. And this shit is clean. Ain't even going to lie. We got hoodies and all that. But anyway, shout out to y'all. I wanted to check out and see how they feeling about this Kendrick Lamar response to Drake, man. So we go into the TikTok streets, man. See what people are saying out there about the Euphoria track, Drake, Kendrick, what's coming up next. You make it to the end of this one, you a real one for real. Fire Squad, what's poppin'? Let's get it. Yeah, Kendrick Lamar is officially washed up. It took what? two weeks for you to tell Drake you think he's a baddie? I mean, this is some shit that should have been on like that. How are you gonna defend oh. him? Drake has already put out two diss tracks and Kendrick is still throwing out warning shots. Nah, bro, let that shit fly. I wanna hear all the dirt you got on Drake. The Canadian accent was- He's, man, look, he not gonna put all that out there. It's a, it's a chess match, it's not checkers. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna expose a hand like that. They both said they got stuff to say about each other. Don't push them. They both said that. It's funny. If this is true, that's crazy. But then Tupac's estate threw one right back at him. And I like how Kendrick went directly at him, used his name in the diss track. For six minutes, all he's really saying is that he passionately hates Drake. And the disses are just shit that people are already saying about Drake on the internet anyways. You can't even compare Euphoria to push-ups. Even Taylor made beats Kendrick's diss track. Drake used the voice of two West Coast legends to solely go at Kendrick and tell him to hurry up after going 20v1 on push-ups. That response after two weeks and people saying that it was in the clip for four years, it was mid, bro. There's no way that you don't agree that Kendrick can do a lot wow. better than that. And he's down by 20 in the fourth quarter right now. What? And he just gave Drake the ball to make another diss track before he tries to go on another run. It's not looking good for Kendrick. And if he can somehow still pull this off, it'd be legendary. And I want to see it happen. I want to hear him say some shit. But for right now, Drake is clearing and I can't wait for the response. Let me know who you guys think won wow. round one and hit that follow button for me. Wow. Okay. The crazy thing about this Kendrick diss is as good as the track is, it's one giant warning shot. Like, this isn't even him pulling out the heavy shit yet. Like, he named nope. the track Euphoria because Drake executive produced Euphoria. And I know everyone loved that show. I couldn't get through the first episode. It was just kind of weird. Drake's kind of weird. And Kendrick <laughs> is saying, like, don't make me bring up the fact that you're a fucking weirdo. And at the same time that he's not saying it, he also literally is plastering it on the front of the song. Tell me why he hit him with the green eggs and ham flow. He said, I wouldn't like Drake on a bus, on a plane, on a train. No, 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 but in all seriousness, analysis, analysis. Some subtle disses people might not have picked up on in the first round. When he says, remember, that's a reference to Drake's song, um, Worst. And the whole premise of that song is, motherfuckers never loved us. And so Kendrick is saying, this is about love and hate, and I hate you. And so he references that song as a way to just kind of add an additional layer. Really subtle, small thing, but I thought that was clever. What else? That line about pointing the Drake down was fantastic because yeah, Drake in his diss track was talking about how he had to hike down to address Kendrick. And so he responds with the exact same type of metaphor, except for his metaphor is based in an actual experience, not just an analogy. And his metaphor was a double entendre. The way he flipped 20v1 into 1v20, fucking genius. Yeah, that was hard. Like so much of what makes this track good is he's just making really apt observations with entendres sprinkled here and there. And his delivery is just crazy. Like, he's just saying true shit 
and it a lot of people don't like his delivery they talking about his voice they don't like the high pitch they don't like how he sounds on the on the track y'all let me know in the comments about that i've been seeing a lot of comments about that it's like his voice is fantastic his cadence is fantastic and it stings you don't know nothing about that this one's kind of <laughs> obvious but at the end when he's like we don't want to say nigga no more like that's from kanye's uh college dropout get him high featuring talib kwali right so so making a nod to Kanye was an interesting choice on how to end the track. Also, if you're curious what he says at the beginning of the song, he says, everything they say about me is true, but it's just reversed. Also, as someone who's always talking about the role of artists, I love that Kendrick brought up the fact that Drake is largely a social pacifier as opposed mm. to activator. Like, again, so much of what makes this track so great isn't about the wordplay. It's just the acute observation and then delivering on those observations in a way that just it's tasty, like potato chips. Now, nah, but this song was high high energy this shit had my testosterone like spiked i wanted to fight after i heard this shit it was fantastic 10 out of 10 yeah 10 out of 10 <laughs> what would you rate it 10 out of 10 why don't you like drake i don't like anything about drake mm -hmm. mom I, I don't like his voice i don't, I don't like that he talks about i don't i don't i'll be trying to tell like his face i don't like his face i might just let me shut up <laughs> i'll just stop right there <laughs> Now, Rest in peace to X, man. He said, I don't like his face. I know for a fact Kendrick was bricked up in the studio while he was recording that because he's talking to Drake as if he's his coach. Like, look what he's saying. This man said, I got a son to raise, but I can see you don't know nothing about that. And the thing about the Pusha T this mm. is Pusha T essentially was just like, yo, Drake, you're a bad father, ha, ha, ha. But Kendrick here is actually trying to give Drake some fatherly advice. He's telling him what he does with his son in hopes that Drake <laughs> picks something up. He's like, yo, I be waking him up. I tell him to pray giving him tools to walk through life day by day, teaching him morals, integrity, and discipline. This man is giving Drake pointers in fatherhood because he wants the best for Drake's little light-skinned son despite the beef. And I'm sure Drake can appreciate that. He's probably in the studio taking notes like, man, thanks, Kendrick. Even though we're beefing, I appreciate that you would do this for me. This man is flexing his fatherly abilities and sharing the knowledge. It doesn't get more humble than that. This is everything y'all pretend J. Cole is. And speaking of which, Ooh. I hope none of you genuinely think that Jermaine, oh no, I shouldn't have worn sweatpants in math class, Cole could keep his head above water when it comes to this beef if he was Ooh. dissed like this. Because I love Drake, but this is just an honorable diss. Like Kendrick's somehow finding a way to take the high road. He said, I don't like that you popping shit at Pharrell. For him, I inherit the beef. He's inheriting it. Imagine that someone gets dissed and you respect them so much that you have no choice but to get on your knees and bequeath <laughs> the beef from them because you know like you're like, no position to protect themselves you're like i'll protect you like you know how righteous that is bro he's like a knight in shining armor saving pharrell from the evil of big drizzy drizzle he says yes yeah, so push and pee let me see you push a t okay he's craving it. he needs to see it he's like drake let me see it show it to me i need it you better off spitting again on him you think about pushing me okay and y'all can't hear it but the way he says me is like a little baby okay and i think this is a jab at like drake talking about how little kendrick was he's like yo you talking about i'm sure you're talking oh. about my shoe size well now i'm a little kid you think about pushing me you know what i mean he's taking it a step further <laughs> He said, I pray they my real friends. He's talking about J. Cole and Obbs here. If not, yeah. I'm YNW Melly. This is a vulnerable moment from him. He's like, man, I really do pray. I'm praying to the Lord that they're my friends. But if not, I have no choice but to morph into YNW Melly. He's saying it like he don't want to do it, but he will do it if it comes down to it. Mm -hmm. He's making me dance, waving my hand, and it won't be no threat. This is like when Drake told Metro to shut up and make some drums. This is the equivalent. He's like, hey, man, keep making that danceable music. And what's Drake going to do? Stop making bops? Of course not. He's interrogating Drake. He's like, yeah, like, I know you're the boy, but... Where's the man? I need him. Yeah. So just cringe really. It ain't gotta be that deep, I guess. It's not even that big of a deal to him, but he just don't like him regardless. I really like this disc because it's pure just him not liking him. You know what I mean? Like it's so nice to have real haters back in the limelight. This man's like, I hate the way that you walk, the way that you talk, the way that you dress. He's really on his case. Like this rap beef is so great. Like I cannot wait for what happens next. Like, it's yeah, people is definitely locked in. Chris Brown has reacted to Kendrick Lamar's new diss track. The long simmering feud between Kendrick Lamar and Drake has exploded once again. Kendrick started the latest chapter with his track Like That, dissing both Drake and J. Cole. Cole fired back with 7 Minute Drill, but quickly apologized and removed the song. Drake wasn't about yeah. to take it lying down. He responded with push ups and tailor made freestyle. The latter used AI generated vocals to mimic the late Tupac Shakur, causing outrage and a legal threat from Tupac's estate. Drake mm. subsequently took the song down. Now, Kendrick Lamar has dropped another diss track, Euphoria. He takes a veiled shot at Drake's manipulative nature. Before yeah. directly addressing the tailor-made freestyle controversy and bringing up Drake's past beef with Pusha T. And now, Chris Pusha. Brown has reacted to the Euphoria track. He did this by commenting on Instagram underneath a post about the track. In Chris Brown's comment, he said, 
Not bad, not bad. People love this reaction from Chris, seeing as Chris is one of the most beloved people in music right now, and everything he says and does seems to go viral. Based on Chris's comment, it seems like he's taking Kendrick's side in this feud and is not siding with Drake. Fans online are relentlessly discussing Kendrick's new track, and it's mostly getting unanimous praise. One fan said, Chris Brown giving a nod to Kendrick. Now that's something. Remember, Chris and Drake used to be tight back in the day, yeah. but we all know how that ended. This little yeah. comment is Chris subtly picking sides, and it says a lot. Another fan said, Chris knows exactly what he's doing, lol. He loves a good feud, and lol. that comment is just him throwing fuel on the fire. I live for this level of messiness. And finally, one more fan said, this is a calculated move by Chris. He's staying above the direct beef, but that comment keeps him in the conversation. Smart play to keep his name out That's there real. and remind everyone he's a force in the music scene. So there we have it. Kendrick has successfully got the whole world, including celebrities, talking about his new track, which will be sure to mm -hmm. guarantee that it gets an immense amount of streams on both YouTube and Spotify. Spotify. For this video's comment question, Team Drake or Team Kendrick? Before you go, be Team Drake or Team Kendrick. Don't mind how I look. But I haven't seen anybody else bring this up yet, but Kendrick's diss to Drake is called Euphoria. And now I'm sitting here wondering, was that coincidental? If you don't know, Drake is the executive producer of the show Euphoria. So now I'm like... Was that on purpose? Mm -hmm. Did he do that on purpose? Or was that a coincidence? Because if that's a coincidence, that's cool as hell. But like, if he did that on purpose, I love that. I love that, K-Dot, if you did that on purpose. Let me know. Mm -hmm. Let me know what y'all think. Also, I don't know if anybody has brought this up yet. I haven't seen nobody bring this up, but I thought it was cool. A little Easter egg, if you will. First, listen reaction to Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria. I'm Lou. Right here, we talk hip hop. If you do too, hit the follow button. Oh my God, Kendrick Lamar Cook. Something just wasn't sitting right on my soul this year when an R&B singer had the hardest diss track, but Kendrick <laughs> made everything right. Drake was begging for a response and boy, did he get it. In this scathing six minute track filled with beat switches and quotables, mainly challenging Drake's legitimacy as an artist, I don't know what else you could ask for from Kendrick. A couple lines that stuck out to me. F all that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You yeah. better off spinning on him again before you think about pushing me. When I see you stand by sexy red, I believe you see too bad. Well, one thing that did stick out to me was the that fact was that Kendrick didn't really come at J. Cole except for this one line. I see two of them kissing and hugging on stage. I love them to death. Cole and Aubrey know I'm a selfish guy and the crown is heavy, huh? I pray they my real friends. If not, I'm YNW Melly. Now, as the beef has gone on, I realize that Cole did the right thing exiting the He did the right because thing. Because Kendrick and Drake really don't like each other. And I That's think real. Cole honestly values both of their friendships. That's now, real. with Euphoria, Kendrick has checked every. That's box and the ball is now back in Aubrey's court. It'll be very interesting to see how he moves because he's going to have to be calculated with this one. Either way, this is what we're here for. Song of the week, Lou Charles, Pyramid Scams. Cole did the right this thing. This is breaking news. Kendrick Lamar drops a bombshell in the hip-hop world with the release of Euphoria, a track directly targeting Canadian rapper Drake. The song debuted on Kendrick's YouTube channel this Tuesday, April 30th, marking the latest escalation in a feud that's been brewing for over a decade. Yeah. In Euphoria, Kendrick does not hold back, labeling Drake as a degenerate and scam artist. The song's lyrics delve into past conflicts, including Drake's 2018 lyrical battle with Pusha T, and touches on sensitive topics like Drake's biracial identity and use of controversial language. The mm. feud highlighted by Kendrick's sharp spoken word style, intensifies as he accuses Drake of lacking authenticity and originality in his music and persona. Kendrick also questions the integrity of Drake's recording contracts and revisits the controversy surrounding the song like that, mm -hmm. which led to legal threats earlier this year. Mm -hmm. As the hip hop community watches closely, this track sets the stage for what may be an ongoing battle in both lyrics and legacy. Please subscribe or follow this channel for more breaking news stories. Call that pushing P. Let me see you push a T. You better off spinning on him again. You think about pushing me. Kendrick is nuts, bro. That was a hard line. Oh, he just opened a can of worms with this one. Have you ever paid 500000 to like an open can? I can say whatever y'all want to say, but it's a whole nother ball game when it ain't no cap in your raps. How did I... 
How did I miss this? A $350,000 settlement to an alleged sexual assault victim. June 18, 2019. What? The complaint obtained by the blast was recently filed by Laquana Morris, a.k.a. Layla Lace, with the New York Attorney Grievance Committee. Since I, Laquana Morris, signed a retainer agreement with Alexander C. on January 23, 2018, I explained to him that I was sexually assaulted by the rapper Drake, how Drake forced me to perform on him. Oh. It wasn't your ordinary, it was more so a fetish, and then they blanked out the rest of the complaint. I did not know this, y'all. Whoa. I um see that's what that's what rap beef do. Like at the end of the day, I told y'all before, like probably last year or something, long time ago, when I made that video about Drake, and I was like, I feel like the Drake expose is gonna really mm. it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be crazy. How did he hide this? Like even from his last beef that he was in well wow. i don't remember nobody bringing this up do y'all remember this am nah. i tripping no nah. I, I ain't never heard of that y'all in the comments let me know after listening to kendrick's song euphoria like 50 times today i went back and watched that video of drake talking about his cat crody and i've <laughs> just been laughing crody crody you gotta say it like that though crody crody I wish I could see Kendrick Lamar's face in real time when he saw the video of Drake like talking about his cat Cody. Like Kendrick Lamar is hilarious. That's funny. I didn't really like it. Don't it don't sound like Kendrick Lamar. Like man, that could have been better. You know, it could have been a better track if he's really coming at people or that's just got a leaked track. But is it the fact that we don't even, we don't even know and he's not even coming out because he probably not even paying I'm attention. That's my point. I'm saying he's not saying anything, so yeah, it is. maybe it's real. And then, and if it is real, he you know he's going at he's going at Drake, he's going at uh, Big Sean, he's going at French Montana, going at I believe it, going at electronic. Him. I might be, but I believe him because didn't he do something like that? What was that song where he was going after a lot of rappers? It was kind of mild, but I felt like he did that before. You know, yeah, he, he was like, he's like, that. yeah, but he didn't say, I don't think he said, he didn't say names. This is like, you name, you know what I mean? These are all names. It's something only people who listen to Kendrick Lamar will understand. Okay, I've got two. Firstly, Elements of this record. It's, it's a diss record. It is a battle rap diss track. Who's he dissing? You can figure that out for yourself and it's not that hard to figure out. But him talking about slapping people and making it look sexy is not by accident. Number two, he's just a guy, meaning he gets stuff wrong, meaning he gets stuff right. But it means as he, you know, told you, he is not your savior. I love Kendrick. He's, I've got his lyrics tattooed on my body. I Whoa. think Kendrick's fantastic. He's still just a guy. So what he says is not law and you should listen to his music accordingly. It's lyrics tattooed on your body. Kendrick Lamar's euphoria, AKA his diss track to Drake was mid. And it was due to two reasons. The first reason was because of Drake himself. When Drake dropped Taylor Made Freestyle, he put Kendrick in a catch-22. He set a crazy expectation for Kendrick Lamar's response. He said, bro, if you don't come with a quadruple entendre, it's an L. And he also played into the fact that Kendrick was taking his time. So the longer that Kendrick took, the more it seemed like he was ducking Drake. Man, how y'all feel about that? Is Are y'all really pressed about how long it took this dude to respond? Like, are y'all really about like, oh, you got X amount of days to respond. And if so, the more days go by, the less you intrigued, the, the more you get like hindered because you haven't responded yet. Y'all let me know. And I'm pretty sure it forced Kendrick to respond a little bit faster than he wanted to. Think about the timeline ever since Like That dropped, which was like a month ago. J. Cole responded, then J. Cole apologized, then Drake dropped, then Drake dropped again. And in between all that, Drake was responding to other people and trolling Kendrick. Another reason why the diss wasn't all that is because of the fact he literally touched on the same subjects as Rick Ross. It's like we were listening to Kendrick's version of Champagne Moments. And that's the downside of all these people jumping Drake because you don't have much material to cover because another person already said you it. You don't know that. Think about it. The fact that Drake is you being jumped is low-key an advantage. Because in order for somebody's diss to really stand out amongst everybody else, you got to come with some crazy information. And if not, it's... And he said in the diss, he got some stuff on Drake that'll make Gunner look like a... You know what I'm saying? Like, so just because he haven't revealed his hand on me, he ain't got it in the tuck.
So it's boring because we've already heard it before. I'm just saying. Drake don't do a diss like an outright diss song where it's a headshot. He's gonna set a set it up like war. He gonna do stuff like live five blocks down the street from you. Oh. He gonna like go and you know DM every single girl in your family, every single girl around your family, no. right? But it's all psychological, right? So it's like what pin, what button is someone gonna hit? Where can where where can you hit them? Is masterful. I see that. a lot of you still have symptoms, no taste and no sense of smell. Wow. Because what Kendrick just did, that was roasting a duck, a cooked bird, if you will. The smell is torched, not completely charred. Drake is about to respond to Kendrick Lamar any minute now. If you guys don't know, if you weren't watching the live stream by DJ Academics, he actually revealed some of the text messages that him and Drake we're sending to each other back and forth Ooh. and it's pretty juicy you know what i mean let's just say that you know drake is about to press that red button bro and when drake presses that red button we don't know what's gonna happen dude. but take a look bro listen to listen to this uh, uh well i don't know if i should read this first line but the the, the, the next thing he said which this as i told y'all I, I told y'all one thing i know i know my goat he says see you soon that's it See you soon. You feel me? That nigga watch What the first line I say, though? Yeah, what the first line I say? That nigga watch uh, it. It's time to no, I, I, don't, I don't know if this has any... It probably... Well, no. It, it, the first line says... <laughs> he says, uh, I'm, I'm energized... Well, he's quoting Kanye, though. He's like, I'm energized by the elimination of Drake with a bunch of laugh emojis. Then he says, see you soon. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, anyway. Well, I said, I hope Kendrick isn't writing quintuple entendres. I hope he just insults him. <laughs> I'm in the middle of fucking Manhattan after having my insurance denied, but let's talk about Dang. rap beef because that's a happier topic. When I see you standing next to Sexy Red, all I see is two bad bitches. I don't even like when you say nigga. You think my <laughs> life is just rap shit? I got a son to raise, but you don't know nothing about that. It's not a 20v1, it's a 1v20 if I gotta smack the people that write with you. Oh my that was god. Crazy. Oh, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted to see. This is this is the thing. All right. This is the thing that I didn't like about like that that I do like about this. And like that's a great song. I've listened to it a bunch. This is what I want to see. <laughs> this is what I want to see. In my last video, I was like, "Please just call that man white. It's the most insulting thing to him. <laughs> Oh my god. You know how hard it is to insult someone by just describing yourself having good mornings and days with your son? Speak Ooh. on percentage. Let's talk about splits. You signed to it. That signed to it. That signed to it. Nah, that. <laughs> it's real competition. You might pop out. I can't even. I don't even have like a description to give y'all. It, it, it's it's direct. It's what I wanted. I'm glad he didn't go quick. Contrapple on Andre Pendrick. I just wanted him to be me. So like explicitly a good response that when Drake was like, "Yo, your Taylor Swift features, your Maroon Five features, your Imagine Dragon features, like." You know, what about that? <laughs> and Kendrick's like, how many more black features do you feel that you're black enough? It's crazy because I've made multiple predictions in this and been right, so I, I feel very vindicated. Honestly, probably my favorite part is when he's describing the first time he had to shoot a gun, right? Because it's the best metaphor for how I felt about this. First time I shot me at Drake, the homie told me to aim it this way. I didn't point down enough. Let me show you I learned from those mistakes. Which is basically just the thesis for this entire diss track is you know what i i wasn't being specific enough mm. let, let let's make this a real diss track let let's really get into it. also thank you for calling him canadian we don't call drake canadian we don't we don't you know he claims to city, but we don't yell at him that he's a canadian no. also in the less intense portion of the diss track in the beginning where he's talking about uh specifically he says the famous actor we once knew is looking paranoid you moving in disgrace you're moving like distasteful and the thing that we know about drake and beef is that it's not just that he releases the songs that he just does a lot of petty things not just a lot of mm. petty things that we know about but he does a lot of behind the scenes stuff like yeah. he mentions the him attempting to cease and desist like that incredible response incredible response i think it blows push-ups out of the water um i don't think it's a game ender. i don't think it's I still same, don't think we're at same. tick 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 levels yet. Same. But it is it's a it's hard going there. pushback. It's it, going it makes there. Drake should look kinda soft in comparison. 
So now Drake is going to have to focus up and like not focus on all the people, right? Because I think that what was happening to Drake's advantage was that he was like fighting all these people and he's able to shoot back at all of them. But he's gotta get he's gotta get tough if he wants to respond to this, because this shit was good. Yeah, hip hop fans are eating today. <laughs> That's a fact. Drake's initial reply to Kendrick's diss is pretty funny. I gotta give it to him. Drake does know how to move on social media, even if you don't like the antics. He is strategic and he is funny. Now, this doesn't buy Drake any time from giving us a timely reply to the diss, Everybody but to use this movie reply. to show that Kendrick does kind of sound like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. And in fact, what they say about when you hate somebody is deep down you can only hate somebody that you love. It was a funny flip. Check this out. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. I hate it when you stare. I hate your big dumb combat boots and the way you read my mind. <laughs> I hate you so much it makes me sick. It even makes me rhyme. I hate it. I hate the way you're always right. I hate it when you lie. I hate it when you make me laugh. Even worse when you make me cry. <laughs> Drake is petty, man. No, I mean, I swear to God, she said she was 18. Hey, online. Crody. I don't like the way you say nigga. Kendrick, what? I don't like it. I, I just don't like it. All right, you already came from my parenting style. You already came from the way I dress, the way I walk, the way I talk. You even came from the way that I... I don't like women. I literally love women, bro. I don't even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't care about that. Matter of fact, we, as a collective, we don't want you to say nigga. Who, who is we? Cool. Who is we? The culture. We don't want you to say it. You know what? Can you know I talked to Millie Bobby Brown? Yeah, she's gonna be on my next track. Yeah. yeah. Unless you pipe down, you gonna listen to me now. You gonna listen yeah. to me now. Yeah, my yeah, size seven shoes. Size I seven. fear I might have to apologize to men because this indeed is very fun. So literally about an hour ago, Kendrick Lamar released a response to not one but both of Drake's diss tracks in one of the most surgical ways I've ever seen a response delved out. Not only did he address every single barb that Drake threw at him, but he then elevated the bar and made it more interesting to talk about his response than Drake's initial points. Mm. I think my favorite part is him saying that both Drake and J. Cole know that he's selfish and he wants all the pressure and responsibility that comes with being the king of hip hop and wearing that crown. I also think the thing that I find the most interesting about this response, trust me, I will be making multiple videos because there was that many bars, was Kendrick basically saying that he liked the original Drake. The Drake that made music about his lover boy experiences, and even though he got bullied and called a simp, Kendrick said that that was true to who he was at least, and that this new Drake is some fake, pumped up, reconstructed ab person that can't even look himself in the mirror anymore. I find that interesting because Drake really was bullied early on in his career. Then you have people like Kendrick who work with Drake when Drake was being bullied. Then you have someone like Kendrick saying, we like the original you, and saying that he's the biggest hater of who this person that Drake cosplays to be Ooh. now. He makes fun of the accents, makes fun of the fact that Drake wants to actually be the baddest bitch on stage and competes with women. He asked Drake why he won't respond to Pusha T and even taking shots at Drake's fatherhood. This is wild, I'll definitely be making more videos, but let me know what you think of Euphoria in the comments. It's getting spicy. Woke up, I look at the computer, the computer say, Floyd say, fuck T.I., fuck Nelly, fuck 50. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? Nelly fucked your first baby mama, Melissa, then took your fucking fiance, say fuck that nigga. 50 is crazy, man. Kendrick Lamar is the biggest hater in the world. This man dropped a six minute diss track called Euphoria. Not only is Drake an executive producer on the TV show Euphoria, but that show has a theme of adults messing with young girls. Could be a reference to the rumors around Drake. Now we know why J. Cole deleted his diss track. Hey, he didn't want no smoke with Kendrick Lamar. He said, Cole and Aubrey know I'm a selfish guy. The crown is heavy. I pray they're my real friends. If not, I'm wind up you Melly. Meaning if either of them step to him, he's gonna take their life. Just like what wind up you Melly is being accused of. Bro, how to unlock the Mangekyo Sharingan. But this is just the beginning. Cause he also said somebody told me you got a ring. Oh God, I'm ready to double the wage. I'd rather do that than let a Canadian ninja let Pac turn in his grave. Referencing Drake buying Tupac's ring at an auction for one million dollars. We also know that Drake used Tupac's voice on AI for his second diss track. Then he said, F all that push and pee. Let me see you push a T. Better off spinning on him before you think about pushing to me. Talking about how Drake hasn't even responded to Pusha T's diss. Oh, brother. And he called out brother. Drake for being a bad father? And he said, I got a son to raise, but I see you don't know nothing about that. 
Bro, this Drake crazy. so much, I'm gonna have to come back with a part two. But after hearing Drake's push ups and Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria, which diss track was the best? Let me know in the comments below. Let's talk about it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and follow for more updates. That kid line is crazy. The, the main point that Drake was trying to make is the whole Kendrick is pretty much being pimped by his record label and he's yeah. making him do these songs that he doesn't want to do. He's he's hopping on songs with Maroon 5. Taylor Swift. Taylor and, Swift yeah. and he has to cut the check to TDE and so he's not on TDE anymore. Has been Thank for you. a while. It's almost like it's a mute point at this. I mean, even if that was a situation because you're been in a similar situation if it's not the same right now. Well, Because Drake, you have a lot of cuts and people that, that are in yeah. your pocket as well. Drake saying this doesn't make any sense because he's more of what he's calling Kendrick than what Kendrick is. Mm, Universal go. cash money. What is he, it? Like he's, he's young he, money. Young money. He's making it appear it's a lot that, of slashes in your contract. That's what I'm saying, bro. Mm. He's he's making it seem like his product didn't being chopped down like everybody else's would be. Drake is going to call another rap artist a pop star, bro. Yeah, that's like, crazy. What? Are, so you? And this is a bar. <laughs> this is a bar. Great analysis. See, this is how I know that the Drake fans are coping hard. Even me as a Drake fan, because I can name more Drake songs than Kendrick Lamar. Even I can say that Drake definitely got cooked. No, oh. he got cooked. No kitchen. Let your core audience stomach that, then tell them where you get your abs from. Um, Drake, Drake has to fight back. He's not beating the allegations now. And the Drake fans, even me included, I'm putting myself out there, gassed up Kendrick for the past three weeks. And now when Kendrick, after having, he just got off of tour and has a kid and all that. And Drake, y'all know Drake got free time. <laughs> Saying that the Drake song is better than the Kendrick diss. All right, so let's not lie to each other now. Kendrick waited three weeks just to repeat what Rick Ross said in 30 Alien Voices. Drake won. Let's move on. Now, I see that Drake don't really battle rap like that. So his fans don't know much about battle rap. Either Rick Ross or Kendrick said the same thing. It's different rap angles. It's not what's being said, it's how you present it. Right. And Kendrick just came full force with it. It doesn't change the fact that Drake is BBL Drizzy. I'm sorry, Drake BBL fans. BBL Drizzy? This is my opinion, though. BBL Drizzy? Drake, bro. You hear this new Kendrick this? No, but about time, man. Me and my boys are getting bored. Like, I'm sure some triple line talking about Drake. You know, to be honest. What do you say, man? What Rick Rose. He just don't like you. He don't like the way you talk. He don't like the way you walk. He don't like the way you dress. He don't like the bitches you done fuck. He said you be hanging out with sexy red because you be both y'all as two bad bitches. He said he don't like your parenting style. To be honest, he said he fucking hates your accents. He don't like your ab surgery. Jeez. He's too nice, bro. I ain't gonna lie. To be honest, he said he don't want you saying nigga no more. He don't like. He don't like the way you, he don't like the way you say nigga. Did he say something about me? Uh, actually, nah. <laughs> they gonna eat this up online. <laughs> I was listening to Euphoria today. Maybe put on the greatest too. How you felt about that? <laughs> oh man, it it was interesting. It was interesting. Did you like it? Um, I thought it was cool. Who's winning? How about that? That's a better question. <laughs> Who's winning the battle to you right now? Oh man. Um, Drake is definitely winning Ooh. from from an MC standpoint. You know, it, it took a while for him to get for us to get the record from Kendrick, and when you wait a while, it gotta be, it gotta be like out of this world. I yeah. think if Kendrick dropped this record right after dropping "Give Me 50, it would have been crazy. But uh, like immediate, not yeah, waiting. If it was long. immediate, yeah. then it would have been That's crazy. But we waited. Been a couple oh, wow. weeks. Been a couple few weeks. Yeah, they to get this pause. I don't know, man. What do you think? I'm going I think Drake is winning. Euphoria didn't really uh Wow. It didn't, it didn't really move me. I'm not saying because I you know why I'm expecting lyrics from Kendrick Lamar. It isn't like I'm not saying yeah. he's in the lyricist, so you're expecting certain things and song was kinda long, took too long to came out for us. Um and I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just if you actually yeah, it was it was a good it was yeah. a good record. It was a good record, but it was a good record that we waited a while for. We didn't wait a while for a good record. Yeah, I got a top five. Let me see. Now that's interesting because these dudes come from a, a different era of rap where 
when 50, well not 50, when uh, Jay and Nas was beefing, records didn't come out just like that. You know what I'm saying? The record, the response record didn't come out just like that. So to hear them guys saying that in this era, like, yo, we waited too long for that. It's interesting to hear all these different perspectives from different people. So it's just interesting. Give me, uh, give me Jay. Mm-hmm. I gotta write it so it can look right. Mm-hmm. This in any order too. Give me M. Mm-hmm. Pac. Give me Jig. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and give me Snoop. Mm. These all, yeah. Fire. Yep. That's a fire five. Respect that. Look, we got inside men, no Diddy, in our ear to the street. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you, right? If he, if Kendrick Lamar dropped that second, um, right now, this right now, you think J. Cole's career done? I swear to God, right? The only thing niggas gonna be listening to from J. Cole, bro, is that last shit, bro. That all oh, my life. That's no gonna be the way. For the kids. That's gonna be the only John. No that way. Grammy no, that Grammy nominated. John. I hope not. I swear to God, if he don't, if Kendrick dropped that John that he got, in the, and it's already done. It's already the, You're the third done. person to say that. Or you you? Do Academics and him right there. Space. Code. I mean, listen. I heard bro, about a couple you, of things. Bro, listen to me. Listen, listen. I swear I to God, real right? I know hip hop, right? That's going to end J Cole career, bro. And that's that's up. What? But maybe Kendrick won't drop it because of the policy. Feeling like I already won a battle now. If he drops it, that's bullying. If, if he, he drops that, if shit, he drops that's, the second one, that means. Me. You. That's, what? That means, that means straight <laughs> you if he drops the second one. With him, though. Oh, it's other people on the... <laughs> Listen to what I'm telling you. They about to drop another album. Metro has a whole nother album with Future. That looks like an old clip. I don't think Drake's afraid of Kendrick. I think Drake's afraid of himself. Mm. Meaning, when you do something like Back to Back, that's what people are expecting. Tupac never made another hit him up. God bless him, he passed. Hmm. Nas never made another Issa. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Jay-Z never made another takeover. Like, it takes certain things to get something out of you. That's real. I don't know if Drake can get to that level of back-to-back -back again. Wow. I think he's competing with himself. I got confidence in Drizzy. Wait. I got confidence in Drizzy. Well, confidence to do what? To rap. <laughs> it's a wrap. I've listened to this Kendrick Lamar diss all day, and every time I listen, I find something new. It's insane. I was gonna make a video breaking down all the lyrics. I did this with Drake's push-ups. I did this with Kendrick Lamar's verse on Like That. But literally, there are so many different things to break down. If I did that, it would be a 20-minute video. So instead, I'm gonna break it down little parts at a time. This is gonna be a dope series, because there's a lot to cover. So let's get it. Here's part one of things you probably missed in Kendrick Lamar's Drake diss. And we're starting with the name, Euphoria. First meaning is tagged toward Drake. It's literally the definition of the word. Word. It's saying, Drake, you've been in a euphoric state this whole time because I haven't spoke yet. You've been running around acting like you're winning this beef. Guess what? Now it's time for me to bring you down to earth. It could also imply that Kendrick himself is now feeling euphoric because he's heard what Drake's come with. Drake's tried him with two different diss tracks. And Kendrick knows now that he has it in the bag. So he's starting to feel euphoric about his upcoming victory over Drake. But That's thirdly, weird. Euphoria is the name of a very popular TV show. It's kind of like nowadays Degrassi. Very similar vibes. And Drake is an executive producer producer on. Not only that, Euphoria is very notoriously known for over-sexualizing a specific age demographic. Call it the 2006 plus demographic. And these ties with Drake, obviously a huge allegation against Drake, especially lately, is the allegation that Drake has been involved with or is attracted to women of a very young variety. I'm trying to say things on TikTok that won't get me banned. Before the music even starts, the name of this disc coming in hot. But then at the very beginning of the track, we hear this weird sound. Let me play it for you real quick. Whoa, 
Euphoria. That sample, if you play it backwards, actually comes from the Wizard of Oz. And it's the part where the wizard himself is exposed as a fraud, like the mask is taken off and they see behind the curtain. And the audio in reverse mm. is him saying, everything they say about me is true. The wizard is the one saying in that sample, everything is true about me. So even with the vocal sample, Kendrick is saying that he's about to expose Drake for everything that he Ooh. actually is. And people are finally going to get to see behind the curtain because of Ooh. this beef. Also implies that Drake is going to do it to himself, that the stuff that's going to be exposed is going to be coming from Drake. When we get to it later, you'll see that there are a lot of times that Kendrick Lamar hints that he's got some seriously damaging yeah. dirt on Drake. Yeah. It doesn't end there. The version of The Wizard of Oz is a 1970s version called The Wiz. It's an all African American cast. It is a reimagining of The Wizard of Oz. It takes place in New York City, but ultimately it's the same thing. All the same story beats are there. Michael Jackson actually stars in it as the mm -hmm. Scarecrow. Drake compares himself to Michael Jackson multiple times throughout this whole rap beef. So if Drake is Michael Jackson, he's the Scarecrow. Crow from Wizard of Oz in this scenario, hey, the dude. person who's literally fake. This is going in, ain't he? A, a empty shell designed to look like a copy of a real human which is we'll get to later the heart of what Kendrick is saying in this whole diss is that Drake is putting on hip hop as a costume he's not a real hip hop artist Ooh. and obviously also the scarecrow doesn't have a brain and Kendrick could be saying Drake you have no brains to go after me like this this was a dumb decision you've made like I said there's a lot of content to cover there's gonna be a long breakdown series we're already like three minutes into this video and we haven't even gotten to the lyrics yet so someone drop a comment for me to reply to for part two Great work. Great work. Hey, who won a Lakers game last night? Man, the Nuggets won. Lakers lost They again. lost? What happened? Jamal Murray, the Canadian, you know, him again. He did it. I'm getting tired of these Canadian motherfuckers. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar is Drake's number one hater. In a new diss track, the Compton-born rapper called out the Hotline Bling star saying, I like Drake with the melodies. I don't like Drake when he act tough. The decade-long feud between the rappers reached a peak after Drake released two songs labeling Lamar a pipsqueak and an industry puppet. In his six-minute musical response, mainly aimed at Drake, Lamar proclaims, It's always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. It's been like three weeks and Kendrick still hasn't responded. I think Drake wins the rap beef. Oh shit, Kendrick just dropped a diss. What? He responded to Drake's diss. Okay, finally. Man, I'm not worried about that. That's just Many celebrities have reacted to Kendrick Lamar's Euphoria diss track about Drake. First up was Rihanna, who commented underneath Rihanna? a screenshot of the single cover of Euphoria and said, Hard. Although Rihanna's comment was short and brief, it seemed kind of shady towards Drake, seeing as Euphoria is a diss track to him, and Rihanna is praising it. Next was Snoop Dogg, who said, At least I wasn't used as AI in this Ooh. one. This was in reference to Drake's recent track, Taylor Made Freestyle. In the track, Drake used AI to replicate Snoop Dogg's voice without his permission and made a verse using his voice. This shocked many fans as it's the first time it's ever been done by anyone. It generated a lot of criticism from fans because people found it very disrespectful. He also replicated Tupac's voice in the song, to which Tupac's estate responded to that by demanding Drake take the song down. Next, Diddy said, This feud not over yet? This seems like Diddy's way of saying he's bored by the feud and wants it to end, and is generally just saying he's finding it boring. Despite Diddy finding it boring, I doubt this feud will die down anytime soon. Diddy as Drake and Kendrick seem super mad at each other. Even if they do move past their hatred for each other, this feud is generating both of them a lot of money and press, so they won't be in any rush to let this feud die. Next, Katy Perry praised Euphoria by commenting with a fire emoji. And finally, Will Smith commented saying, This is one of the most entertaining feuds ever. So it seems like many huge stars are loving this feud and are loving discussing it. Joining the stars in discussing this topic is the fans. One fan said, Drake's probably busy changing his songwriting team and updating his ghostwriting <laughs> contract as we speak. Man Dang. spent years building this image, and Kendrick tore it down in one fell swoop. Guess there's a reason he's called King Kendrick. Another fan said, I like that Kendrick's sticking up for artistry and originality. That's dope. But the personal stuff, the jabs at Drake's kid and stuff that crosses the line for me it's one thing to go after music but family is off limits this whole feud is getting toxic and i'm starting to think both sides need to take a long hard look at themselves and finally one more fan said this is taking me back to the golden age of hip-hop feuds it's got that raw energy the clever wordplay it's what's been missing from the scene for too long finally someone's not afraid to get their hands dirty now this is how you settle a score for this video's comment question who is winning this feud Hip-hop beef, boy. I love Kendrick Lamar. 
Everything that man does is so poetic. Like he is the poetry emotion. He is such a Gemini. He really does it for the Geminis and I love it and I love him. It's so funny that Kendrick Lamar just dropped this song called Euphoria, which is a response to Drake. And we all know that Drake was a co, well, not even a co, he was an executive producer on Euphoria. It's always been about love and hate. Now let me say I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you dress. Kendrick Lamar is such a Gemini and I am so here for it. Everybody talking about this. I told Kendrick Lamar he had to lock in and respond to Drake in less than a month. And he did not disappoint your boy. If you were too busy working because you're a broke boy, you probably didn't hear that Kendrick oh, Lamar dropped a disrespond oh. to Drake called Euphoria. Now, I'm not going to lie. The beat on that song was not that good. But it was still a fire response. Great, great response from Kendrick Lamar. Not a nuclear missile, but it was still a good response. Right. Now, I'm going to dock Kendrick for using recycled material. We've all heard that Drake is a BBL baddie jokes. He doesn't take... He not even using the microphone. This ain't picking up nothing. You can hear too much of the echo behind him. This microphone ain't even working right here. He's just speaking into his camera. Get this kid, blah, blah, blah. We've heard it all before. But still, that delivery was good. Not a fan of the 30 accents or the 20 voices that Kendrick likes to use, but it was still a good delivery. So what's next? Drake, you are now on the clock, sir. You got less than a month to respond. Or we're going to crown Kendrick as the king of this rap beef. But shout out to Kendrick, bro. He really got the I'm Drake's biggest hater energy. Like, he don't like nothing about dude. And I respect it because sometimes you don't have to like everybody. Like, some people you just don't like. Like, look at him over there. I don't like you because you just look funny. That's how <laughs> Kendrick is looking at Drake. We finally got a response from Kendrick Lamar and his new diss track called Euphoria. Do me a favor. People geek it. Go listen to Push Ups. Go listen to Taylor Made Freestyle. Then listen to Euphoria. Tell me which one is better. If your answer is Drake, bro. <laughs> if your answer is Drake, you're delusional. You are oh, delusional. The that's only funny. argument for Drake right now is that his song has like more replayability. It's more like a hit song, funny. more like a radio song. That's it. For six straight minutes, Kendrick Lamar cooks this man. And what I love about this track is that Kendrick came at him directly. He came at him straightforward, no BS. Because Drake was like, oh, you better have a quintuple entendre. And there was no quintuple entendre to be found. Kendrick was straight up like, I don't like you. I actually hate you. You're not cool. You're actually cringe. Just generational hating, bro. For six minutes. In these six minutes, Kendrick Lamar calls Drake a master manipulator. Calls him a scam artist. Says that Drake isn't accepted in this community says that drake is a wannabe killer reminds everybody that drake is canadian because i feel like people tend to forget that this man is from toronto he says that drake is a gimmick he says that drake does black features so he feels black enough he says that his abs are fake he also said that he put a cease and desist on like that crazy some of my favorite bars from this track had to be colin aubrey no i'm a selfish dude yeah the crown is heavy I hope they met real friends, because if not, I'm YNW Melly, bro. <laughs> but when I heard that, the stankiest face. Context, Yo, this dude YNW is Melly funny. is currently, I don't know if he's currently on trial, but he was on trial for killing his two best friends. Then he said, let your core audience stomach that and tell him where you got your abs from. I don't think this is the end of the rap beef, though. I think Drake already has something cooked up, but as of right now, K Dot up one. But feel free to comment on your opinions. I will be more than happy to argue with you in the comments. Uh, man. I, don't, I don't like you Kendrick Lamar haters, bro. Because half of you niggas always be hating on uh, uh, backpack rappers and, and, and niggas who got real bars and shit. Not everything got to have a fucking beat that you got to shake your ass to. The nigga had bars, bro. You didn't hear that sexy red bar? You didn't hear that Parkinson's bar? Are you fucking kidding me? He in school? Did you, did you hear the Sixth Sense fucking AI bar? Nah, man. Y'all out y'all fucking mind thinking, thinking he ain't got no bars on that shit. Mid? Mid? Corn on the cob, Gilly? Mm. The f***, man? Y'all y'all tripping, man. Look, I like Drake, too. I'm not gonna put my bias in there, man. Kendrick fucking had a fucking dope song. You know what else was dope? Push-ups by Drake. That shit was lit, yeah. too. Yeah, facts. Hip-hop's in it, man. I like this shit. 
I hate that that two of my favorite artists is, is beefing. I really do hate that shit. But damn it, it's happening. And clearly they really don't like each other. So it's gotta be done. But he ain't have no bars and it was mid. Yeah. Man, I'm out of here. I'm sorry, bro. What the f y'all talking about? So, um, I don't really listen, listen to, like, rap and hip-hop a lot. I do occasionally, you know, but, um, it's not really my, my go-to. Um, I know who Kendrick Lamar is, but I guess I've never heard his music before because, um, I just listened to Euphoria and I was... Let me that. I listened to somebody else listening to Euphoria and having a, <laughs> um, like a reaction video to it. Okay. Um, I'm listening to this and I'm thinking it's got to be a joke. Like, this isn't this isn't the real thing, because that, that can't be Kendrick Lamar, the, you know, the famous rapper that, I, that I've heard of, someone who's never, doesn't really, I mean, not never, but like doesn't really listen to the rap. Like, this man sounds like he's 5'2 and 86 pounds. Like, with a raspy little, like, voice, like, he sounds terrible. No, the, the 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 things he was saying was fire, but like his voice, I just could not get over how he sounds. He sounds terrible. Mm. I'm sure I'm gonna get some flack for this. Like fuck Drake, but like Jesus Christ, Ken, Kendrick Lamar sounds awful. Let's hear it. All right, so Kendrick. Wait a minute. But I think Kendrick's response to that diss is gonna be like earth shattering. I think it's gonna be crazy. I mean, I did try to tell y'all, like I, I basically predicted this. Kendrick this morning uploaded his diss track, Euphoria, to Drake, and it's like six and a half minutes of everything a Drake hater could think of or want to say to Drake. Kendrick talks about Drake having fake abs, not really being black, but chasing black features and aesthetic. Drake being a scam artist rather than being a rap artist. Drake being scared of Pusha T, wanting to be a baddie more than a real nigga. Drake having ghost riders. Drake not actually taking care of his children. And then Everybody eat this up. Kendrick takes care of his own children. And then the funniest part to me was at the end of the song and Kendrick starts saying Crody a bunch of times and does his like fake Canadian accent like real cheese and fam like I'm not a Drake hater at all if you really know me but like Drake gotta get back in the studio like this is crazy so now round one is officially set you got push-ups and tailor-made freestyle versus euphoria you got OVO versus TDE PG Lang whoever Kendrick is with I'm gonna let a couple days go by to see how I really feel about the back and forth but like most beats and like most things it feels like with each new thing that happens it just gets better and better, yeah, and, better so. yeah. and I will say with situations like this it's never good when you have to be the initiator versus the one that responds to what's happening That's like right. whether you think drake started all this or not drake definitely took it to a level when it came to push-ups when it came to taylor made freestyle kendrick took his time you know gathered everything and then he responded with euphoria now not only does drake have to respond to euphoria and top that and you know squash any doubts or any questions but right. drake should also try to get ahead to the next diss track that kendrick releases trying to dim the light before it even sparks that's right. what drake really does when it goes song for song bar for bar which i think he does we'll see how long it takes drake to respond I'm gonna be really clear, I'm just connecting the dots to connect the dots, that's it. There's a Euphoria episode called Stuntin' Like My Daddy, and I already made the Birdman reference with one of my other videos about Pusha T, and I stand by that, and now I think that just validates it even more. Man, look at how everybody's so excited. Just look. This is really, really impressive. So many people are so invested into this, man. It's called Stuntin' Like My Daddy. It's great. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar drops a diss on the Drake called Euphoria. He's responded to Drizzy finally after two months almost. But wow, this is what I think. Kendrick Lamar came out and said, "We don't want to hear you say no more." I guess because Drake ain't all black. I think I will give this round to Kendrick. But even though I'm not the only one who noticed it sound like Kendrick was just kind of repackaging a bunch of old Drake diss songs from Common, Rick Ross, Ludacris, and Pusha T. I don't know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look up Exodus by Pusha T, Bada Boom by Ludacris, Sweet by Common. I mean, at the end of the day, the diss song was fire. And as a song, it's a great song. Like you would just, most diss songs, you're not driving around listening to them. But I drive around listening to this one. What y'all think, man? Let me know in the comments. It's Zell, TBG Media. Oh, yeah. One more thing. I know this ain't the end. I could tell by how both diss oh, songs yeah. end. For sure. By how Drake's and Kendrick Lamar, this ain't the end. So get ready. It's a round two coming up. I get this one to K Dot, though. I'm out. Zell, TBG. Definitely more on the way for sure. So Kendrick Lamar finally comes out with his long awaited diss track against Drake. It's called Euphoria. And I just listened to the whole thing. Um, I'm underwhelmed. It's all right. It's not amazing. 
I didn't feel the same thing I felt when I heard push-ups for the first time or when I heard like that for the first time. It's just all right. Number one, in my opinion, it's way too long with way too many flow switches and way too many beat switches. And, you know, Kendrick does take a lot of jabs at Drake and some of them do hit, but it didn't hit like like that. And it didn't hit like push-ups. Basically, the whole six minute song with all of the beat switches and flow switches is Drake's not black. You can't say the N word. Uh, you just want black acceptance. You paid for your abs. Drake's a whore that fucks with so many girls and they're not real women. And he also said, stop speaking on my family before I start targeting yours, which is valid. Like, I didn't appreciate the fact that Drake was calling out Kendrick's wife. That was that was some sucky shit. Ultimately, it's I. Right. I'm not going to go as far as some people say and call it mid, but it's just I. Right. But what I will say, it's not enough. You're fucking with Drake. It's not enough. Because how mm. Drake wins these battles is not only are the songs good, catchy, and witty, but they're popular, so you're going to hear them everywhere. Like, this is a song that I listened to once. I'll probably listen to it again to digest it, but I'm probably never going to listen to it again after that. Push-Ups has been in my rotation since it came out. Like That has been in my rotation begrudgingly since it came out. Begrudgingly. Because they're good songs. And this is the problem I have with you know, super conscious rappers like this is that they want to make songs that speak to the soul and are all super intellectual. Bruh, it's a battle. This is something new when people talk about it's supposed to, a diss record is supposed to be a hit record. That's some new shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a battle, bruh. I'm supposed to be going bar for bar. We supposed to be going lyrics. We not supposed to, like, what are we talking about? What are you talking about? I normally let people get their stuff off, but a diss record don't have to be a hit record. It helps for sure if your disc record can go. But we battling, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. With triple entendres, but forget that people listen to music for entertainment. I don't care what type of talk you talking on a song. If it's not good, I'm not going to listen to it. And that was the whole crux behind Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. That's why it failed. Kendrick was probably addressing some really crucial shit on that album. But because it sucked as music, <laughs> I did not listen to it. In conclusion, Kendrick, if this is what took you two weeks, it's not looking good for you, buddy, because we already know Drake got that next track locked and loaded, so good luck. Dang. Respect. Kendrick just released a diss literally 38 minutes ago. And, mm. Again, I'm not a K-Dot fan. I just appreciate real talent just for a second, okay? That man said some points in there that I want you guys to go back and listen to, okay? Tommy Hilfiger stood out, but FUBU never been in your collection. Mm. History lesson. What is Tommy Hilfiger known for besides the clothes? Mm. I know him for as saying that he doesn't want black people to wear his stuff. Right. You guys remember that? You remember? And you know FUBU is a black-owned brand. The Literally, in the acronym, it's for... For us, by us. Hmm. Just, just that one. Let's keep going. Quick one saying basically, don't tell no lies about me and I won't tell the truth about you. I've been saying this for years. People have Drake's tea. They have it. It's under an NDA mm. right now, mm. but they have it. Mm. You know, I got language barriers. There's no accent you could sell me because he's a culture vulture. Mmm. Like, he go through different accents, like putting on a new shirt. Wow. <laughs> he said, forget all that push and pee. What about push and T? Because that's the one rap beef he lost. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so bad. Play your throat. Play your throat. <laughs> he said, I'm the biggest hater. I hate the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress. Oh, see, <sighs> you know. It feels good to be seen, you know? <laughs> then tell him where you get your abs from. <laughs> Meg started it. Meg told y'all them scars look the same. <laughs> Where'd you get the... <laughs> no hate to plastic surgery. But don't lie about it. Don't go get the surgery and then come back two weeks later in the gym. Like... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you better walk around like Daft Punk after he said headshot. <laughs> You need a bag over your head. You should be in shame. Shame! <laughs> you were signed to a nigga that was signed to a nigga who was signed to that nigga. He talking about when he was in um the young young money situation. Whew. This is this is cold. I'm feeling real chilly. <laughs> oh, it's getting personal. Hold on. Kendrick said, My life is not all about rap. I have a son to raise. 
but you don't know about okay <laughs> she <laughs> lastly she wilding. she wilding. him adopting the toronto grody <laughs> she is wild you know kendrick i hope you have a good day okay because <laughs> you ate that <laughs> like that the girls fuck with it hey <laughs> she's funny after two whole weeks we finally got a response from kendrick lamar everybody's on this app talking about this kendrick lamar this and i'm not gonna lie i just listened to the whole six minutes you took two weeks to write a six minute diss track and i'm not gonna lie he was saying some stuff on there you know talking about how drake need to spin back on pusha t talking about how drake got a bbl basically same shit rick ross said saying you know drake can't say the n-word but he also mentioned oh yeah don't make this personal this is friendly fire man this shit mid this the <laughs> longest diss i've ever seen in my life and it's the biggest six minutes of mid i've ever heard of. wow i honestly don't understand y'all obsession with kendrick lamar and this is not even coming from a drake fan my favorite rapper is gunna and i'm also mad because gunna caught a stray in this diss song why did gunna ca caught a stray in this but yeah on the real my favorite rapper is gonna ride wave young thug so I, I i could care less about drake but if we're gonna be honest the light skins are winning right now bro dark skins we're down 3-0 drake up 2-0 and Chris Brown is up 1-0. We're literally losing right now. We can't beat them. Because Kendrick Lamar had us sitting here waiting for him to respond. I'm thinking he about to drop some ether. Granted, he did say he got some more coming. But this was complete mid. Y'all really like this? This th That shit was fire to y'all? This was complete mid. You could have kept this. One of the wow. worst flows I've ever heard on a song ever. Granted, wow. this, this is not a real song. But that shit was dookie. It's not dookie a real stage. song. Ooh. We're going to hit 100K before my birthday. Y'all hit the like and follow button. Kendrick, that's not it. Kendrick Lamar just broke the internet with his new Drake diss track, Euphoria. A lot of people are saying that Kendrick misidentified Joel Osteen in the lyrics. Joel Osteen is a famous televangelist, pastor, motivational speaker. There's a lot of controversy. I'm not going to do that video, but you can <laughs> Google that if you don't know. Kendrick appears to be referencing Haley Joel Osment, who is in the movie AI, and The Sixth Sense, which Kendrick references in the lyrics. But I don't think it's a mistake. Kendrick is so smart, he always has so many layers to his music. And he pronounces it kind of odd, like Joel Osteen. So there's lots of room for interpretation here. And to me, maybe the biggest sign is just a few lines above the Joel Osteen line. Kendrick talks about teaching his kids to pray and discerning what God's will is. So that's very spiritual. I just don't think Kendrick would mess this up. All right, that was a TikTok compilation of Drake, Kendrick Lamar, what the streets is saying, specifically what the TikTok streets is saying, man. We're getting a lot of mixed reviews. We got some people saying, yo, Kendrick smoke." Drake. We got people saying it's mid. We got people saying it's doo-doo. Like, it's a mixture of stuff. Y'all let me know in the comments. Check this out. If you made it this far, you a real one for real. Make sure you drop that in the comment section. But also the merch just dropped. Use the code Elevate Man. Get 15% off on all purchases, man. Hey, elevate more in 2024. Until next time, self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you when you know it. Poof.